Hey, welcome back to BizWid. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use Google Tasks to manage your assignments, your homeworks, your deadlines, and all activities that you need to do on your calendar. So this is a very good way of digitizing your workflow. I wanna show you how to do this and incorporate it into Google Calendar. Now there's three ways, so stick, stick around to the end and I'll show you each one of those ways. The first way I'm gonna integrate tasks is via Gmail. So let's just hover over to Gmail, navigate to your Gmail. And on the right hand side, okay, you'll see this task bar here. You may not see it because it may be hidden. I get a side panel may be hidden. Just click on the little arrow on the side to show the side panel. And so you've got your calendar, your keeps, your tasks right here, yeah, your contacts here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on an email that I have identified as a task, so this one here. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on the toolbar here, I'm gonna say add to tasks. So that's gonna open up the sidebar and it's gonna add it directly to tasks. So here it is. So what happens is the title of the email becomes the title of that task, so manage back. Here we go, I can write some more information here, update, student roster. Now, as it's a task, I need to find out when I'm free in my schedule and go ahead and select that time. So I'm gonna go ahead and say Sunday now at 9 a.m. Here's the thing, the task list, uh, depending on what topic I've selected, that's where it's gonna add the task. Now this is added it under my homeworks. I don't want it to be homeworks. I'm gonna go ahead and click the three dots and I'm gonna move it to one of my other topics. Now this is a manage back issue. I'm gonna go ahead and move it into my manage back topic. If I wanna to go to my tasks and I click on manage back, I can see all of the tasks that I have for manage back. Now, that task doesn't just live on the side panel on the companion view, it is actually in Google Calendar. So I'm gonna to go to Google Calendar and you can see here along the side, the left hand side here, that I've got one of my calendars is tasks. If I display only this calendar, you can see that those are my tasks. Look, I've got my tasks here for this week. I could toggle them on and off. So tasks that you assign a date and a time will show up on your calendar here. Tasks that have not been added using a time will be all day events. So this task here, you can see PE, which is an all day event. I'm gonna go ahead and edit that. I can say, hey, I don't want it to be all day event. So uncheck this and I can give it a time. So here, 2 p.m. or you know whenever it's convenient for me to do that group task and go ahead and save that. Now what's brilliant about tasks is that they are flexible. I can pick a task up, a block, and then just move it wherever I need to move it. So if I just take this PE task, I can pick it up and move it wherever I wanna move it. I can change the date, the time, whatever I need to do. The second method is to create a task in calendar. So as I'm here in calendar, and I've got my task calendar selected, I can go ahead and create my task. So I'm gonna to go to next week. So Monday at 12, it's a lunchtime task. I'm gonna go ahead and meet Sam at the coffee shop. And this is a task, it's not an event, it's a task. I'm gonna go ahead and add it as a task and I can put a description in here. So whatever the, you know, set agenda for club. And then remember you choose where this is. So is it a personal task? Is it managed back, is it homework? I'm gonna go ahead and say personal and I'm gonna go ahead and save that task. All right, so that's, a, so that's the second way of doing it. You can add it straight from calendar. The benefit of adding it from the calendar is that you can set a time and a date directly from calendar. Right, the third way is using the sidebar or the companion view. So from the companion view here, I'm gonna click on tasks. And this is brilliant. I'll show you why this is brilliant because let's say you're in class and you're on a document. So let's say you're working on a document uh, and your history teacher tells you, hey, you know what? There's homework that is due on Thursday. Make sure you get it done. So while you're here working on the document, this could be docs, sheets, of any of the workspace applications and you've got your companion bar right there. So while I'm working, I'm in class, it's the last two minutes and the teacher's saying, hey, remember you got homework or you got an assignment due, I can click on my tasks here and I could quickly load, so I'm gonna go homeworks and I can add a task directly from here and say, okay, history, timeline, world religions. Whoops, I don't know what I wrote there. And then, when's it due, sir? I just do next week, Sunday or whenever. So next week, Sunday, I can do it there. And I know that I can set a time here. It's probably 10.25 a.m. in the morning. And go ahead and add it in. So now my task is done. As I'm in class, this is very practical. You're in class and your teacher says, hey, you've got a homework assignment. You can add it straight on task. You don't need to open up your calendar. You can do it straight from 
the workspace applications. Now I might be in a physics class, I might be analyzing some data on a Google Sheet. I could be in a design class with slides open, I can add it from there, or I could be in an English class, history class on Google Docs, I can add it straight from there. So that's three ways that you can integrate tasks uh, into your calendar. Now this works really well with time blocking. Don't try to overcomplicate it and make a, a topic for each subject like uh, English, science, math. It becomes way too complicated. Just have one for homework assignments and then you can add all your tasks under homework. So that's that in a nutshell. Check out the video on calendar blocking and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.